I'm Dr. Saman Heomana. I'm going to give you an introduction about uh, blood disorders. Overall, when there are changes in the blood, it could be due to blood cancers. That's what we get always feared about, uh, leukemias in other words. Or the changes in blood could be non-malignant. That means is not related to a cancer. There are certain other conditions where our blood can change. The best example is a lot of young girls get anemic. That is not because of a cancerous condition, but as they lack iron. So there is a condition called iron deficiency anemia, which is a blood disorder, but it is not a cancer. So broadly, blood disorders are divided into malignant or cancerous blood disorders or blood cancers and non-malignant or non-cancerous blood disorders. When it comes to malignant or cancerous blood disorders or in hemato-oncology, we have leukemia, lymphoma and myeloma. When it comes to other blood disorders which are not malignant, there are so many of them. We see, we see deficiency anemia, so due to deficiency or lack of vitamins and minerals, people get anemic. There are autoimmune conditions where red cells or platelets or other blood components can get distracted by our own body by a thing called autoimmune reactions. And also we see commonly thalassemia, which is a which is not a blood cancer, but it is a disorder in producing red blood cells. Now, I have this interest in hemato-oncology or blood cancers, as I mentioned previously, there are three types, leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma. It is for a different session for us to talk about in detail these blood disorders. If you broadly take what investigations we do patients come with symptoms or complaints due to lack of blood cells really because they have more blood cells or increased blood cells they come with fever they can come with difficulty in breathing or even bleeding so accordingly we do relevant blood tests the diagnostic test to conclude what is wrong with the patient. So this is a specialty which need skills of a physician to analyze symptoms and signs and also skills of a pathologist or a hematologist to decide or look into those blood disorders and if it is malignant skills of an oncologist to know how to treat cancer. 